Welcome to this week's review of the Ramon Leones Celestialis Finos, which is the PCC Asia Pacific release for 2009, one of their two releases for this year. The box code on this is STA June 09. It's still crying, mate, from coming yeah. out of the womb. Yeah. This one, it is uh, it's young. fresh, as <laughs> young as all buggery. So let's let's see if we can just get a line through it, a line of understanding as to as to what this cigar is likely to produce down the track. It sits beautifully in the hand. It's a beautiful sized cigar. It's my type of cigar. Mm. It feels good. It's the right sort of, you want to pick it up. They do. Tape, wanna... tapered head, yep. uh, two tapered, yep. tapered head, tapered foot. Yep. Wouldn't be an easy cigar to roll. Straight tan wrappers. We picked any box. We just picked any box for ourselves. Excellent, aroma of cold. It's like grassiness to it, which you'd expect from such a young box. Um, it is grassy, sweet, yeah. sweet grassy. Yeah, yeah, a sweet grassiness to it. I, I, I refer to uh, a sugar cane, cut sugar cane sort of smell. Um, but great draw, actually. Um, so, uh, which is a good Draw's start. Draws good. Yeah. So. Draws good. Good than um, I expected. Yep. Let's light them up. Yep. So let's light. get in them. What's the factory name for this patola? I oh, know, what is the factory name for this? Britannicus. A Britannicus, really? Yes, Britannicus. Cigars of this Vitola I've ever had has been the Romeo and Julieta, which went through a fantastic phase until about the late 90s, and then they, the Romeo and Julieta Celestialis Finos became a dog of a cigar. <laughs> In its, in, in its last days, yeah. but before that, it was, it was yeah. actually quite a legendary cigar. Well, it's, uh, as I said, uh, in the bundle, it looks gorgeous uh, oh, yeah. with, uh, with the other cigars, and it's opened quite nicely. Uh, not much spice through the nose there. Hardly any spice through yeah. the nose whatsoever. It's a light, light to medium opening, but good smoke on it. Not tapered as much no, as your spice is coming back through the nose now. Not tapered as much as your standard Figurado. The most important thing is to see whether we can get some Ramona Yonis notes through it. Let's, let's let it open up for, yeah. get it through that little nub there and we'll go from there. Come back to you in a few minutes. Towards the end of the, towards the end of the first third in the Celestialis Finos, surprising cigar. Certainly woody, I think you mentioned campfire wood. Yep. It is, there's no freakness there at all. There's a ton of spice. Mm. This thing is spice laden, which is great for years down the track. It's not good at this point in time for someone who wants to smoke these on a regular basis for the next six months or 12 months. Forget about that now. No. This thing is in a slumber. It is medium, medium full and spicy mm. through the nose and yeah. spicy on the palate. Yeah. And it is, it's like a wild cat that you've just thrown in a cage and you're trying to get it back out. Yeah. All the flavors haven't amalgamated together yet. You know, it's all over the place, no. as you'd expect from such a young cigar. Very body on the palate. Um, those spices are really gripping there and um, you're definitely looking, you know, year to 18 months before you'd, you'd approach no, it. I wouldn't even pick up another one for um, a year, to yeah, be honest. Yeah. It hasn't even got any real Ramona Yonis. We spoke a lot of Ramona Yonis. I mean, uh, Ras, Corona Gigantes, yeah. um, etc. Hmm. But there's no f sweetness of freedom yeah, no, yeah, at this no. point. Mm. And, and it's just a matter of so young. Yeah. Um, I, I would have loved to have seen a little bit more of that freakness mm. come through. I suspect that a lot, you know, when it settles, there's so much there at the moment on the on the spice and the, and the power front. But right now it's a bastard. <laughs> <laughs> right now this thing's a bastard. It, it does not want to be here. Yeah, there are certain cigars that just creep up with you and really hit you with yeah. the strength. It's not yeah. overly strong on the palate, yeah. but it's but nicotine. It's nicotine laden. Nicotine hits there. It is nicotine laden. Crocky, I'm on. Let's see what I'm looking forward to seeing what yeah. the second third brings along. We may have collapsed. <laughs> uh, might call for water for the first time ever on a, on a deck review. What, what are we drinking here, Rob? We're drinking the uh, Voyager Estate, girt by sea. In the words of Kenny Garg, it's a great little winery from the Margaret River, River, uh, Western Australia. Come and join us on the deck, that's what you get to drink. God, I'm looking for, actually, the next month, we should discuss this. We've got to discuss this, we've really got- We've got, got one month to go in the Come Down to Zara competition that uh, finishes on the 31st of September, mm -hmm. gets drawn on the 1st of October. Yep. One month, guys, pick up a box, go in for the draw. Because the weather's picking up, look at that sky, <laughs> gentlemen. Just look at that sky. We've got this for you waiting when you turn up. We'll have a full itinerary worked out of doing nothing, uh, except having good time, good laughs, and really a ton of drinks, a ton of cigars. A ton of cigars, a ton of laughs. And if you, a ton of laughs. <laughs> You'll love it. Look forward to it. We'll be back to the end of the second third. 
second, third, gentlemen, and it's um, well, it's getting stronger. It's medium full now, and ruthless. <laughs> Sounds like a, you know an epic story or something. It's getting stronger. I could discuss flavours, but I'd be lying. Um, it has pepper, cayenne pepper. <laughs> this thing has just told us to bugger off for a year or two. At least. Well, you said before, you said, <coughs> you said you'd look at line it down for 10 years. And you're not far off, I tell you. I think in 10 years it'll still, this be, is just, still be kicking you. It, it smokes beautifully in that it, the draw is perfect. The draw is beautiful. The, the smoke's it, gorgeous. Balanced. It, it, and when I say it's balanced, there's a certain woodiness to it. Um, it's The overpowering nature is in, its, in the nicotine side effects yeah. more than anything else. I yeah. mean, it's not... It's giving me the, the palate. It's, it's giving me the shakes. shakes. <laughs> it's not through the palate. It's a nicotine aftershakes that really knocks you around. It is. It's a son of a bitch. And, and, and it's balanced in the sense that there's nothing. The flavours haven't amalgamated and become defined, but there's nothing that stands out as in viciously ill balanced and, uh, no. and, and, and overpowering. Well, she's getting that way. She's, but the, but the, yeah. the, you're right, it, it's the nicotine that's overpowering at the moment. The, yeah. We'll see if we can finish it. We'll come back to you <laughs> shortly. Okay, Smitty, let's wrap this cigar up. <laughs> How do you rate this? Um, I don't even want to write it. Yeah. It, I can't it, write it's, it. It's too young and too powerful. It's going gonna, it's gonna to turn into something very good, I believe. I have no idea. Actually, I feel quite ill. It is, without doubt, the strongest cigar nicotine level that I've had in, in this year. It is a throwback to the cigars, the fresh cigars that came out in 96, 97, 98. Like, we, as you smoke it, yeah, you, you it don't... It creeps up on you. It just yeah. belts the living daylights yeah. out of you. Eventually, yeah. Yeah. you don't notice it going in... But you certainly notice it um, as, through its after effects. Yeah. Flavors, I got none except for woodiness. <laughs> yeah. Well, I see, got no, got no flavors. No, we got the flavors at the beginning, and I think those flavors uh, have remained the same coming through. Yeah. It's just they've been overpowered by, by the nicotine and the power. Too young, too strong. Mm. It's a cigar you don't even try one. Try one out of, your, out, of, out of your batches. But really, this is a cigar to put in the bottom of your humidor and to leave it there for a number of years. Try one next year, try, yeah, try one, one, for try one, one inch for the five years, but yeah. I mean, for the price that they are, and congratulations to PCC for putting a very good price on these at uh, 239 US, 555 AUD. It's got a long time. But if it, if it went back to the, the original R&J Celestialis Finos, they were another cigar which actually took a long, uh, they, they were mm. blended to take a mm. long, long, mm. long time. Mm. To come good, and when they did, they were magnificent. But this has right no there. similarity to a RAS, yeah. no. no modern RAS, no, no similarity no to any modern yeah. RAS whatsoever. No. It is, if anything, it's a touch similar to very, 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 very fresh 898 varnish, very, very fresh 898 varnish, which can also be very, very strong. I'm probably more confused now than I was at the <laughs> beginning of the tasting. As Min Ronnie would say, this has got 15 years, 20 years on it. <laughs> I don't think I've got 15 years left in me, right? <laughs> it has left me slightly ill. This is what they'd give out of one of those reality <laughs> shows to see if you could finish it. It's, but, it's tough being Ken some days. It's, it's not easy. But, but he couldn't call us because he couldn't use his phone to tell well, us. He Ken hasn't quite any... worked out how to use contacts on one's phone, but that's not an issue. That's not an issue. Ken, we're here to help you out. You understand that, Kenny. We're not here to bag you. It ain't one you'd be smoking in on a weekly rotation between now and Christmas, guys. So I can tell you that <laughs> right next now. Christmas. <laughs> but have we stopped? No. We've kept no. on going. This is like a challenge. This is for research and development. <laughs> this is like a challenge. <laughs> Ken will take you to all the local strip clubs. <laughs> and the bathhouse. And Telstra. And <laughs> I'm going to put a couple of boxes of this away simply to give to my kids. <laughs> they can give to their kids. They can give it to their kids. <laughs>